Ooh, let's take this off. Hi everyone, today I am at Bang Bang Oriental Food Hall and it is based in Colindale, which is in Zone 4 on the Northern Line. I am joined by my friends Carolina and Thomas, you may remember from such videos as pierogi making sessions. And we are basically gonna go around and eat our fill of Asian food. First up, we've all gone and divided and conquered and picked out a few of our favorite things. So obviously I'm in charge of dim sum, got Carolina in charge of the buns, and Thomas who is looking after sushi and tempura. So we are going to try and eat through as many dishes as we can and then give you our honest review. So my first stop, I'm in charge of the dim sum from Royal China. This is the menu. You've got loads of different types of dumplings, turnip cakes. Ooh, look, chan fan and rice pots there and some um, dumplings, which is one I'm after over there. I ordered three different Chinese buns. One of them is with beef and spring onion. Ooh. The other one is chili with pork. Ooh. And the third one is sweet chicken. I don't know which one is which. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> What's inside? First up, I'm gonna try some buns. I'm gonna try this one. I think this is oh, this is the beef and spring onion, and Thomas is back with the tempura. <laughs> Oh my god, that looks so good. I also bring two authentically Asian beverages, one Diet Coke. Let's get this feeling back inside. Let's get this feeling in her. Let's get this feeling in so here. Mad. This is from the sushi. We've got oh, some edamame, some, some prawn tempura, salmon avocado oh, sushi oh. rolls. Let's go. It's spotting. It's spotting. This is one. There you go. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. So we've got this, that's the vegetarian one, that's the prawn and chive, and they're the soup dumplings. Is it great? Mmm! <laughs> right, this is a spicy dumpling. But this is kind of nice, do you want some... Uh... The wrapper on the spicy dumplings are super thin, and then it's crispy. And then the vegetables taste very meaty actually for veggie dumplings. And they've got chestnuts and mushrooms and stuff in. Very good. Next we've got the prawn and chive, which is Thomas's favourite. And it looks like this. Let's do a little selfie of you two together. <laughs> it's your first picture. <laughs> Just to that. <laughs> right, let's try it. Mm. It's a big chunk of prawn. Mm, two big chunks. Mm. Can you see the soup explosion? Is it good? This is my fave. It's got the Carolina seal of approval. Time for Thomas's soup explosion. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Enjoy. With some tasty soup explosion. Yeah. Quick, 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 quick. It's very spicy to drink. So you think we should keep it? Are you going to chili shop? No, I want him to do it. Yeah, yeah, come on, we're going to do it. This is what happens when you bring your two white friends to the Asian food hall. You're right, it was kind of spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look I don't have to add the fast. attention to detail that Thomas sent. Look, duck and bean sprouts. Allow, maybe, for sure. I wasn't messing around. You were not I knew messing we had a around. big selection. This is why we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the third day? We're now going to go for the second round. Duck. That's all she said since we set <laughs> foot in this place. I'm going to head to Longji and I'm getting the spare ribs. spare ribs. I am going to the Taiwanese street food to get beef brisket in chili sauce and dry noodles. Divide and conquer, let's go. Let's do this. We've got duck and bean sprouts from Bamboo Hut. Let's give it a go. This is a bit of duck. 
very thick layer skin. See, sometimes I'm a bit off with dark because I don't like the fat of it underneath the skin, but it looks good. The skin is super fatty and super chewy. The sauce is very good. It's got, it's got a plum sauce, savory, sweet. It's got a crunchy bean sprouts. We're gonna need to wait for sushi to finish. Very, very sweet. <laughs> We're good. So this is the beef brisket noodle soup from the Taiwanese kitchen. Let's give this a stir. Big chunk of beef brisket. Very, very fatty. Decorated with some thick noodles. Oh my god, these noodles. Mm. That looks like a good noodle. They're like chewy noodles. Chewy, yeah. Hey, you got more. These are the noodles. These are freaking huge on camera. Oh, <laughs> these are the noodles. I think those noodles must be freshly made because they are super chewy and bouncy and light and not too heavy. Brisket is very good too, very very fatty, savoury and marinated well, not dry at all. It's got a rich sauce so it's very very full on. We can really really taste the beef flavours in the soup and it's got little bits of spring onion, coriander, carrots and stuff as well. All in all a very very filling meal and probably not what you want after like three rounds of starters but there you go. Noodles from the Hong Kong place. Oh. <laughs> what you didn't see there on this curated content <laughs> is that she got her noodles all over this napkin as she was busy lining up the shot. <laughs> I'm gonna slurp some of these noodles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Damn, they are some good noodles, those ones. Well, way lighter than those ones. These are quite, I thought these were quite bouncy and light, but these are super light. They're like paper thin noodles. You know, it's probably just from Hong Kong, so Hong Kong noodles are, you know, superior. We have now hit a food wall, um, we've eaten so much and we are not now very sleepy because we were out last night so quite late as well. So we've ended our dessert with some bubble tea, of course. So I have yeah. the winter melon latte with some mango jelly. Look. Carolina has a mango cooler with apple popping. This is so pretty. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Cooling. So refreshing. Mm, yeah, I wanted a refreshing one. Thomas is being antisocial, but let me show you his one. Back to me. He had taro milk tea with pearls. Very, very Asian choice. Very proud. Um, but I'm going to bid you farewell. All in all, this has been a very successful trip. There's so much food. I think our favourite course was the first round where we're picking loads of things. The second one was a bit full on. Um, but I would come here again, I would bring people again, I reckon Mama Shu to come and that's quite a big deal. Carolina, did you enjoy? Would you come back again? So, yes, I'm going to enjoy my milk tea now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Head on down to Bang Bang if you are in London. Collindale is the place to be. Head over to Stone 4 and get that Asian goodness in you. And with that, I bid you farewell and I'll see you. Oh, it's dripping! In the next video. Bye! Um, yeah, it's